Hey doc, so a huge part of attracting new patients to your practice is giving them a compelling offer to come see you. However, you don't wanna be discounting and giving away services left, right, and center with some cut rate pricing stuff, right? That's terrible. So uh, I've looked at it and I've actually figured out how to make that boring old free consultation that everybody in town does. I've worked out how to make free consultation seem like one of the most compelling, sexy, awesome offers ever that people will come in for if you do it the right way. All right, so my name is John Nesbitt. I'm the founder of The Customer Factory. And actually, I'm going over something which comes from my book, which I wrote a while back, called 16 Rules for Facebook Marketing Success for Chiropractors. In that book, I go over this and 15 other things, literally 15 other things, uh, that you need to know as an overview to be successful in running Facebook marketing ads uh, for new patients. It's just basically, it's a quick run through. It's not the technical details of every little piece, but it's a quick run through of what you need to know in order to oversee that kind of marketing happening in practice so it can be successful, okay? Now, a big part of the marketing is you've got to have an offer. So you say, hey, Mr. New Patient, come see me. I'll give you a free consultation. And now that has been used for years and years and years, and it's basically down to the point that it's a cliche. And when something's a cliche, it basically means it doesn't work anymore because everybody says it, everybody's heard of it. It's, it's not new, right? But there is a way that you can use free consultation and not have to pair it up with some like give away the story and you'll, I'll give you a, a $3 exa, exa, exam or, a, or a, a 12 adjustments for five bucks. I mean, that sucks. That's terrible. That's so much you have to do. The, the trick to making free consultation work, right, is to be very complete, be very detailed about it. Because you know what a free consultation is and I know what one is, but your patient, your prospective new patient doesn't know. He has no idea, free consultation. We're gonna sit there for a minute and what was what a, a three minute thing and we're gone? I mean, what, what happens, right? They don't know, so you just think, you, you just kind of gloss over it. So the right way to put it when you're actually talking about the free consultation is to spell it out very granularly what it is. You want them to realize what value this actually has. Because let's be honest, you may think it's a free consultation that still has very little value, but it does have tremendous value. Somebody's in pain is going to get a chance to sit down and go over it with somebody who can help them. That's a rare opportunity, right? So you need to sell that, sell the offer, as it's called in, in marketing. We call it around our office, selling the offer, right? So you can say this, okay, Mr. Patient, in your ad, offer, in your ad, you say something like, okay, we're, you're going to come in, we're going to do a free consultation. What that entails is you're going to have a chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one with the doctor. He's got more than 18 years experience with exactly this kind of condition. And you guys are gonna sit knee to knee and you're gonna tell him about your condition exactly. What's happening with you? What pain, what symptoms are you having? Is it better during the day or night? Are things that make it seem better or worse? What have you tried in the past to make it better? You know, he's gonna get, kind of find out from you what is really going on with you. Now, by the way, we should, I should note right here that a big survey button, the market research tells us that people want doctors who listen to them. Right? You say, what's so great about your favorite? Why do you like your doctor? Because he listens to me, right? So you're gonna let him know in this, when you're seeing a free consultation, you're gonna know, and the doctor will be listening to you the whole time, paying attention and taking notes. And he'll be assessing you, and the doc will assess your condition with you right there. He will be, you know, consult you about what it is that is probably going on and, and what will happen in the future. If it goes untreated, he'll let you know what, what, you're, what could happen in the future. Uh, is it gonna get better or worse? Uh, and then he'll go over your treatment options with you, right? And if you and, and discuss if you qualify for certain courses of treatment that maybe benefit to you and what those are you all like, right? And see if you can get into one of these programs. And of course, he'll answer every question you have. You will you'll have all your questions answered right now about what's going on with your body and how you can address it, right? So that is a free consultation, and that is an awesome thing. If you can describe that in text, obviously not the way I exactly worded it just there, but if you can describe that as that's what your free consultation is, bullet point that sucker out on the landing page. Let them know that you get all this. Like, it's not just free consultation, two words. It's this entire paragraph of stuff they get, and they go, wow, cool. Now, see, now that kind of free consultation, you don't have to throw in the, the free balloons and flowers and the, uh, the 1995 adjustment or whatever, like, unless you want to. I mean, sometimes it actually is beneficial if you want to add that to the offer. And in some markets, unfortunately, the public have become conditioned that they expect that kind of offer all the time. But even then, I think if, if, if even then you're gonna give away like a free adjustment or something like that, or a 1995 adjustment or something like that, uh, describe that in detail too. Make them know the value of what you're doing. He will assess you, he'll adjust the thing to give you better flow, you know, like describe it out really well. Don't just throw it out there as like one sentence. It's not one sentence long. It takes, you know, it is has value. So make sure they, they recognize the value in the ad copy when you're showing to them and they're deciding whether they want to come see you or not, right? 
Now, definitely avoid discounting if you can, in my general opinion, if you can, and you don't have a market that's locked into discounting, um, because I think you also get a better quality patient that way. Uh, remember the old Groupon days when you have you do a run a Groupon, you get a whole bunch of Groupon guys in, and then where are they now, right? Some would turn into go okay cases, but a lot of them would just kind of come through and out the out the door they went because they were they were deal seekers. People who are deal seekers are deal seekers. Now it doesn't mean a deal seeker won't come in and be a good case for you and work out well. You just, as far as working the percentages don't want to go that route. So don't do a lot of discounting if you can avoid it, but no matter what you offer in your marketing, be very detailed, uh, granular level detail in what you, what you do for them. And that will raise the perceived value of it to, to show what it really is and give them a proper idea of what to expect. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, what I just told you came from my, uh, my book, 16 rules for Facebook marketing success for chiropractors. And, uh, and, and basically I cover a whole bunch of other topics in that book. I have a way for you to get that, a copy of that book for free right now. We've got an electronic copy. It's about 20 pages long, this book, and it's an executive summary kind of, it gives you an overview of the entire um, picture of what it takes to run a successful Facebook marketing company, uh, Facebook marketing campaign for your business, right? For your company. So the idea is that you can take this and it sort of gives you the parameters. It's not every bitty nitty bitty detail, but it's, it's all the big stuff you have to know, just like what I just told you just now. So hopefully you find that useful and I will see you in the next chapter. <laughs> Bye.